Hello guys and welcome once again to one of my videos. My name is Tony. For people that are the first time that see my videos, for sure if you already saw you will rem you will remember my strong Italian accent. Actually, if guys um, it's difficult to understand my accent and you would like more details, uh, just uh, write me a message and I will uh, I will try to to write as soon as I can. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead with this video that is dedicated in my beta tank, and I would like to show you guys that uh, this layout is really really simple, really really easy to do, but it's working for the beta, and I managed to keep uh, more than one beta in this tank. Of course, one male and the rest are f and three females because i think um with this layout they are able to keep them territory and stay they are able to have them space because once if one is in the front the other one is at the back of the sun they cannot see each other really often now this is the male the the blue one he is a little bit sleepy because it's really really early in the morning and he was sleeping but let's see this one is one female all of them are elephant here beta which for me are beautiful are gorgeous and really really charming fish and also I housing in this tank one algate heater let me see if I can show you better and this little guy it seems quiet but believe me is not it's really really territorial uh, as much as the beta are so sometimes you can see that they chased basically the beta if they are on the way and actually he built like a kind of cave i don't know if i can show you here like under the stone and he he hide he hide there all the time basically <laughs> Whenever I don't see him, I know where to find him. Okay, and another thing that I would like to show you is this plant, which is a floating plant. I don't know if I can show you from the top of the tank, which is really useful if you are, if you keep a beta in the house, in a community tank. I'll show you. <clears throat> I think in the name of this plant is a foxtail if I'm not wrong and basically this plant it doesn't make roots but if you like uh, you can keep you can plant it like in the substrate as well and betta fish love it my betta fish because they are able to swim around as you know the betta tend to stay on the surface of the the water so they are able to hide themselves but at the same time I left the other side of the tank without so they got also space as you can see in this tank I'm using a um, external filter which was really really cheap it was not uh, expensive as people might think but I find I find like basically like in a kind of bazaar as the beta doesn't require it normally a filter but me I'm a little bit fussy and I really care so I I just bought for them here we go let me just show you again the tank so in for them I use as a food uh, blood burns a frozen blood worms and sometimes I give some as vegetables some green peas and or sometimes I use also some flakes for them I kind of try to to change them diet quite often because I noted that in in the past I used to use uh, like pellets but uh, my my fish was not 
really excited about it. So I tried to change and definitely is working better. Him is completely asleep. Let's see if he reacts a little bit. He's not in the mood today, but uh, you can see the female that they are always <laughs> as uh, as normal, more awake than us. Ah, I'll show you here. Look, there is. I didn't know that he built another cave. Look. So this one, guys, could be um, an option. Is working for me, but of course it could be risky. So I got always an emergency tank just in case but now they have been here um, mm, a couple of months without any problem at all before I had other two females but they were a little bit sick I tried to cure them but uh, nothing to do that's why I don't know if guys uh, have you seen the other video when I was uh, talking about uh, caring about beta and um, I advise people to check the beta before you buy because uh, sometimes you know if you buy a beta that is already in a bad condition then it's quite difficult to cure but now it's two months they are really really healthy they are good together they, they still chase some sometimes each other more the female more than the, the male but without any any problem because even the the tails that they got they are quite healthy they don't have any any type of uh, sign of uh, fighting or or bite so um, I would suggest for people that are beginner in this hobby to create a kind of environment that is uh, can give uh, some place to hide to the beta because the beta in he really really like that and also if you got some problem if you try to house the beta as I do as I'm doing now and, and you see that um, they chase they chase each other too much or they stress too much you can try also to distract the the betas changing the landscape really often in fact i use this type of uh, decoration here this uh, driftwood with the anubia sometimes i move it and they are really really curious fish so they it's really easy to distract them if they if you see that they are a little bit nervous so and also i advise everybody to use a filtration and I'm using also an airstone people sometimes say that as they um, they breathe from the surface it's not good because they move the water but I will say that it's not um, it's not true for me because I put the airstone is is low and is just at the corner of the tank the tank as you can see over there so it doesn't bother actually they are quite enjoy because sometimes they go there and just you know they they like the bubbling things here we go he's waking up now and as you can see they are quiet they are not really aggressive as I told you sometimes yes they chase each other but more the female than the male the male is definitely in charge of the group because when the female argue, when the male goes in the middle, they basically goes away. So it's definitely the one that is in charge. Okay, guys, just this one was just a quick video to show you my community tank, uh, my beta community tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye.